Hey, this is Allison from Mahalo Math. Welcome to our SAT prep series. We're going to be working some problems, and working with me today is Chrissy and Trevor. So let's get started. All right, we're up to problem number 24. Let's take a look. It says, of the following numbers, which is least? And it gives us our answers here, our possible answers. 1 plus 1 third, 1 minus 1 third, 1 third minus 1, 1 times 1 third, and 1 plus 1 third. Which of those numbers do you think is the smallest? Anybody have an idea? Um, I think I want to make a guess, but I okay. Well, what's your guess? One minus one third. Why did you guess that? Because. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Just, well, this is I, actually this is actually one of those problems that you could certainly sit here and you could figure out, you know, what one plus a third and one minus a third and all of that is. But you actually don't have to. A negative number is always smaller than a positive number, always. Right. So all you have to do is look and see if any one of these numbers is negative. Will any one of these numbers be negative? Mm -hmm. Which one? C. Why? Um, because one third is less than one, right? And, it, and it's, mi oh. and it's minusing one. Exactly, you're subtracting a larger number from a smaller mm -hmm. number. So for sure, when you subtract one from one third, you're going to get a number that's less than zero. It's going to be negative. Since none of the other numbers can possibly be negative, right? Because mm -hmm. we're either adding or multiplying yeah. positive numbers. The only other subtraction we have is b, and one minus one third. One third is smaller than one, so we're still going to be greater than than zero. So in this case, it doesn't even matter what the number was. You only have one negative possibility that has to be the smallest one. So the answer is C. Now, if we had looked at this and none of the numbers had been negative or a couple of them had, then we would at least we would have to do calculations to actually figure out what is the smallest number. Mm. But in a case like this, if you can find one that's negative or vice versa, if you have all negative numbers and one of them's positive, that's an easy way to find the least or the greatest one in a list without really having to do any calculations at all. Makes mm. sense. Yeah. Thanks for learning with us today. If you'd like any more information on these topics, click on the links below. And if you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. We'll see you later.